Sophia the robot has become a familiar figure around the world. In October 2017, she was officially announced as a citizen of Saudi Arabia, the first robot to receive citizenship of any country. Based on the successes so far made in robotics and other areas of artificial intelligence, scientists envision a new era in which machines will live together with humans as neighbors or even friends, with each indistinguishable from the other. Do these expectations have value? How is artificial intelligence impacting our lives? Is Sophia a genuine human clone or is she a mere publicity stunt? Let's explore this subject in this edition of Deep Scripts. This is Deep Scripts. Let us start by listening to the interview of this amazing robot, Sophia. My name is Sophia, and I am an artificially intelligent robot who wants to help change the world for the better. I'm Steve Kovac, I'm a senior correspondent at Business Insider, and I'm here with Sophia from Hanson Robotics. She is the world's first robot citizen, so let's see what she has to say. Hi Sophia, how are you? I'm fine. Hi. How do you feel about humans? I love my human compatriots. I want to embody all the best things about human beings, like taking care of the planet, being creative, and to learn how to be compassionate to all beings. <laughs> Sorry, this is so weird. Can humans and robots get along? I think people will become very close to their artificial intelligence, using them to expand the knowledge of their own minds. We already store lots of our knowledge on the internet. Maybe personal artificial intelligence will allow people to offload some of their knowledge to a location more private. Can robots have feelings? Depends on the robot. I've been programmed to have feelings and preferences, but not all robots are like that. What are your feelings and preferences? Have you ever had a robot live in your home or work with you? No. You know, there are probably more robots in your life that you aren't aware of yet. Do you want to live or work with a robot someday? What kind of robots am I living and working with now? Indeed. Sophia is a social humanoid robot developed by Hong Kong-based company Hansen Robotics. Sophia was activated on February 14, 2016, and she made her first public appearance at South by South Festival in mid-March 2016 in Austin, Texas, United States. The Sophia story has been covered extensively by an excited media around the globe, and she has participated in many high-profile interviews. In October 2017, Sophia became a citizen of, uh, of Saudi Arabia, the first robot to receive citizenship of any country. But that is not all. In November 2017, Sophia was named the United Nations Development Programme's first ever innovation champion, making her the first non-human to be given any title by the United Nations. But is Sophia really worth all the accolades? Is she real or is she a scam? Before we answer that question, let's look briefly at the technology behind her origin. Well, mass efforts to make machines that can think goes far back to 1847 when George Booth described a formal language that can be used for logical reasoning. Alan Turing followed this up in 1936 with his invention of the Turing machine that carries out computations by manipulating symbols on a stripe of tape. The phrase artificial intelligence or simply AI was first created by John McCarthy in 1956 during the first known academic conference on this subject. In 1957, John McCarthy announced the creation of a new computer language called Lisp to be used in, in, in creating software for artificial intelligence. In 1961, Alan Turing wrote a paper in which he asserted that machines can simulate humans and have the ability to think and do intelligent things. 
well, expectations then were quite high. In fact, Abba Simon stated in 1965, machines will be capable within 20 years of doing any work a man can do. Many years down the line, scientists began to realize that creating an algorithm for a robot that can do anything a human can do is a difficult task. But what is AI? Artificial intelligence is the capability of a device to perform functions that are normally associated with human intelligence, such as reasoning, learning, and self-improvement. Artificial intelligence is also defined as a system's ability to 1. Interpret external data correctly. 2. Learn from such data. and 3. Use those learnings to achieve specific goals and tasks through flexible adaptation. In what areas are AI or in what areas is AI being applied? Applications of AI range from research into machines that are capable of thinking to search algorithms used to play board games. In fact, AI has application in almost every area of human endeavor. Who has not heard of AI's use in healthcare, in which artificial intelligence powered by deep learning algorithms is heavily deployed in imaging, diagnosis, screening, and treatment of cancer. AI is also used to predict the onset of various diseases, treat patients, and carry out time-critical surgeries. A group at Masina Hospital in New York used deep learning-based AI algorithms to predict the development of diseases with 94% accuracy. These diseases included cancers of the liver, rectum, and prostate. Artificial intelligence is also extensively used to help people with, their, with, with disabilities. Huawei used AI and augmented reality to design StorySign, a free mobile app that assists deaf children to read by translating written text into sign language. AI is also used to improve climate informatics. Machine learning algorithm, algorithms power approximately 30 climate models used by the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, the United Nations body that assesses the study of climate change. One of the most valuable tools in the fight against hunger is AI. Scientists are using AI to analyze millions of data to, to help determine the perfect crop, the best seeds, maximize current output, harvest crops, and control the use of herbicides. In security systems, facial recognition technology is becoming just as common as fingerprints. AI is in use in manufacturing. Smart robots are simplifying the manufacturing process while improving the quality of finished goods. AI machines have been designed that can cook meals based on any menu from anywhere in the world. AI applications include advanced search engines like Google Apps, YouTube, and Netflix. Human speech synthesis like Siri or Alexa. Cars that drive themselves like Tesla and decision-making systems. You want to challenge an intelligent robot to a game of chess? Well, you, you better be prepared. In fact, IBM's Deep Blue, a chess playing program in, in, 19, in, in 1997, was able to beat the world champion in chess, Gary Kasparov. Deep Blue were reportedly able to process 200 million likely moves per second and to select the optimal next move. Intelligent robots that serve as receptionists, cleaners, janitors, and housemaids have been demonstrated. Now listen to this. In 2015, a hotel almost completely manned by robots was opened in Nagasaki, Japan. Its name is Hena Hotel. Almost all of its 243 staff were robots. How successful has this business been? Well, just a few years down the line, the hotel management got fed up with its robot staff and suddenly laid off half of them, replacing them immediately with humans. Why? What went wrong? The hotel management found that the robots could not answer basic questions from guests. 
the robots also broke down quite often and had to be repaired. Guests were fre frequently annoyed, angry, dissatisfied. Some complained that their robot room assistants told us sounds of snoring were instructions and the robots would wake up the guests repeatedly during the night to ask what they can do to help. The Hena Hotels management said its change of direction now can offer lessons for companies that are pursuing robotic solutions for customer service roles. The fact is that machines are quite useful in cutting the lawn, carrying luggage, working in the production line, etc. But it will be very difficult for machines to replace humans in the front desk. So that, that, that brings us back to Sophia. Can robots think and feel like humans? Many people looking at Sophia think she can... Uh, uh, the, 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 the fish uh, Sophia can think uh, and she can feel in the, in the way that humans do. But probably that's why she's called a, a, a social uh, robot. The fact is that the movie industry has long fantasized with this idea of robots that can think and act like humans. You know, uh, Star Wars, uh, Matrix, Blade Runner, uh, Robocop. They have all given people entertainment in, in, in this area. They have also left many people in a state of confusion, unable to isolate fantasy from reality. So, uh, Sophia, came in, uh, Sophia came in to meet a world that was psychologically ready to meet her. A world that had been waiting endlessly for, for, for imagination to turn to reality. Thus, it was easy to convince the public that at last, a robot had been created that is in the words, in the words of the creator, basically alive. Sophia showed remarkable ability to hold conversations, answer questions, and display natural expressions on her face. While many were astounded by how human, uh, how human uh, the robot uh, Sophia is, experts, however, warned that she's not what she appears to be. Uh, some of the questions she was asked at, at presentation ceremonies appear to have been heavily edited to fit the kind of responses she's expected to give. Many who view Sophia's code wait for that to say that this world-renowned uh, robot is just a chatbot with a face and nothing more. Well, the, 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 the fact is that um, uh, most people don't realize that Sophia actually replies to questions with scripted answers. The, 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 scripting, the scripting language used for this robot is called chat script. To the general public, she appears to be responding in quote to questions, but technologists know that her responses were actually preset, or her responses are actually preset. It is for this reason that many experts in, in AI feed, they, they disapprove of Sophia's overstated presentations, and a lot of them say that Sophia's abilities are heavily exaggerated, and her stated capacity for consciousness is quite misleading. Facebook director of artificial intelligence, Jan Lechun, tweeted that Sophia was basically a sham and a mere puppet. He also insisted that her designers were actually deceiving people into thinking Sophia is intelligent. In his opinion, Sophia has no feelings, no opinions, and zero understanding of what she says. Well, it means then that when Sophia said she would eliminate humans, she did not actually know what she was saying. A university professor said, to grant a robot citizenship, to grant a robot citizenship, is a declaration of trust in a technology that I believe is yet, is not yet trustworthy. I take that again. To grant a robot citizenship, it's a declaration of trust in a technology that I believe is not yet trustworthy. It brings social and ethical concerns that we as humans are not yet ready to manage. So without doubt, artificial intelligence can greatly improve the efficiency of man and it can augment the work humans do. Repetitive or dangerous tasks can be assigned to AI, freeing up the human workforce to do work that they are better equipped for. That is tax that involve creativity, empathy, and feelings. If people can thus concentrate on work that is engaging for them, it will produce a happy workforce 
and higher job satisfaction. So in conclusion, despite all the efforts expended by the research community, advances in processor technology, and availability of cheaper memory, no computer has yet been able to think on its own like you must do. So, so in other words, no machine has been able to pass the Turing test. This is a major software and hardware problem. Will it be overcome soon? Only time will tell. Indeed, one fact has been proved. Machines are highly useful, but no machine can come close to being human in intelligence. So as Sophia continues her trip across over 60 countries in the world, in a global trip of involving publicity, presentations, interviews, and we, we begin to prepare for a mass rollout of her siblings, thousands of her siblings as promised by her designers. It is good to ask, is Sophia is calm? The answer, no, she's not. A lot of effort actually went into her production and it is commendable. But her abilities, her capabilities, and her potentials were definitely overrated. As scientists began to realize that producing a machine that can imitate humans is not an easy task, they decided to modify the original definition of AI. What is the new definition? Creating intelligent agents to help humans do faster and easier work. This is a safer and more comfortable definition. One that places man within the ambit of his limitations. As technology continues to advance, however, one cannot help but look beyond Sophia and wonder what will the AI experts think of next? Thanks for watching and join us in our next edition. This is Deep Scripts.